Alright, uh, so this video lecture will be one, will be the first part of four videos which deal with accounting adjustments uh, uh, and, and then we are going to adjust the trial balance for us to prepare the financial statements. Okay, so the first adjustment that we're going to make is accruals and prepayment. In preparing financial statement, the statements are prepared based on the figures in the trial balance, which was the recording of the transactions and then balancing of the accounts. However, at the end of the year, there may be some amounts which need to be adjusted due to errors or the timing of the expenses being paid or revenue received. For example, there may be electricity, uh, the expenses which, has, which have yet, not yet been paid, or some other revenue such as commissions which the business has yet to receive. These items need to be incorporated into the accounts so as to reflect the amount of expenses incurred and revenue earned. The matching concept calls for the recognition of expenses incurred rather than when they are paid with revenue earned rather than when they are received. Cash basis of an accounting records revenue and expenses as and when cash is actually received or paid. This basis is suitable for small businesses as there are fewer transactions and thus it is cheaper. Accrual basis requires income to be recognized in a business book at a time when revenue is earned but not necessarily received and, re and expenses to be recorded when they are incurred but not necessarily paid for. Therefore, the accrual basis is more accurate than the cash basis, thus the reported profit or loss or assets and liabilities of a business are more reliable. So what are the accruals and prepayments? So we have two types, which is the word accrual and the other one is the word prepaid. So the word accruals mean not yet or haven't yet. So if the item is an accrued expense, so it is not yet paid. Belum lagi bayar, not yet paid. If the item is an accrued revenue, then it is a not yet received item. Yeah, not yet received. It means that we should have received, but we haven't yet received the revenue. Yes, patutnya dah terima, tetapi belum lagi terima. That's what the word accruals mean. Yeah? Something has not yet happened. But if you talk about the prepaid, it's something that happens in the past yeah, or what we call as have or have already paid. For example, if the item is prepaid expense, then it means that the expenses has already been paid beyond what you are required to pay. Okay, expense awak bayar lebih daripada apa yang sepatutnya awak kena bayar. So you have overpaid the expenses. And if it's a prepaid revenue, that it means that you have overpaid, you have over received the revenue from whomever that pays you. Maknanya, awak tak sepatutnya terima lagi. Tetapi kita dah dapat bayaran untuk uh, expenses tersebut lah. Okay. Therefore, by the nature of these items, for example, like accrued expense, since you should have paid but you haven't paid, we categorize them, we classify them to be a current liabilities. A current liabilities. So it means that whenever that you want to do a journal entry, you always credit accrued expense. Okay? For accrued revenue, it's something that you should have received, but you haven't received. Sepatutnya dah terima, tapi masih lagi belum terima. Bermaksud, the other person is owing you something. Mereka berhutang dengan awak. Jadi, ia adalah current assets. It's a current asset. So, in general entry, it should be on the debit side. So, it means that whenever you want to do general entry, you debit accrued rent revenue, for example, and then you credit rent revenue. Okay, we're going to see the general entry after this. Yeah? 
For prepaid expense, it's something that you should not have paid yet, but you already pay for it. Yeah, tidak perlu lagi bayar, tapi awak sudah pun bayar. So you have overpaid your obligation. Terlebih bayar apa yang sepatutnya awak bayar. So it means that that the other persons that who receive your payment is actually owing you the services that you have already paid, but they haven't yet rendered. Maknanya jadi awak dah bayar untuk servis yang masih lagi belum diterima. So dia berhutang dengan awak. So ia adalah current assets. Which is on the debit side. Okay, debit prepaid expense. Okay, and on the other hand, for prepaid revenue, is something that you should not have yet received. But your customer has already paid you. Telah pun bayar secara lebihan. Okay, so sekarang ni awak yang berhutang dengan orang tersebut lah. So, bila kita berhutang dengan dia, it's a current liability. So, please put it on the credit side of the journal entry. Okay. So, we're going to look at some of the examples. Uh, assume that business financial year starts on 1st January and it ends on 31st December. A laundry business received a water bill amounting to 265 ringgit on the 21st December 2018. And was only be able to settle it on the 2nd January 2019, which is on the other accounting period. Okay, so when you close off your account on the 31st December 2018, the money has not yet been paid. Okay, so you are actually owing to the service provider. So the previous bill for the year ended 2018, totally 1,080 ringgit were paid on time by cash. It means that from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, you've already paid all of your expenses by cash. Okay, which means that you have already recorded debit, expense, credit, cash for January. And then debit expense credit cash for February. Debit uh, expense credit cash for March. So on and so forth until November. Okay, so in your water expense account, you already have uh, 11, in, in 11 entries for the payment of water expenses from January until November. So, but I put it in the total figure. Because of the lack of space, yeah. So, kita debit water expense, kita credit cash. So, kalau awak tak adjust, if you don't adjust for the amount that you haven't paid on the December, try balance awak akan jadi seolah-olah so expense awak cumalah RM1,080. Tapi padahal, expense kita lebih daripada itu. Sebab kita tak bayar lagi uh, bil bulan 12. Okay, so we need to adjust the closing entries of the water expenses. So this is the previous entry that we have uh, that we have made. I'm oh, sorry, previous entry that we have made. And then we have to put in the double entry. So please remember accrued expense is a liability, so it should always be on the credit side. So credit what accrued water expense, debit kan ke water expense. Kawan dia mesti at water expense juga. So credit water expense sebab dia liability debitkan kepada water expense. So, awak kena pati bahawa expense awak dah bertambah bukan lagi RM1,080 tapi nilai awak transfer ke profit or loss dia jadi RM1,345. So, in the trial balance, you have to adjust accordingly. So, you put there additional item accrued water expense to six fast on the credit side and then your water has increased to RM1,345 and the uh, trial balance would be balance. Okay, so for example of accrued revenue, okay, the business has rented out an extra floor to its building to a tenant. The monthly rent is 1000 per month as at 31st December 2018, the business has received a total of 10,000 of rent revenue on cash basis. So you record first the amount that you have already received on cash basis. Is the rent revenue is on is on the credit side, so debit can cash, but debit masuk, credit can revenue, sebab revenue bertambah. 
Okay, and then you will see that you have uh, in your trial balance you have a rent revenue of ten thousand, which is wrong, because it's you're supposed to receive twelve thousand. Okay, so we have an accrued amount of two thousand. How do I know twelve thousand? One thousand times twelve months per year, you should have received twelve thousand ringgit. Okay, so you have an accrued amount of two thousand. We should have to record accrued revenue is an asset, so put them on the debit side. So debit accrued revenue, credit accrued revenue. So kita punya rent revenue dah bertambah menjadi dua belas ribu. So letak dua belas ribu kat trial balance. Dekat sebelah debit awak ada accrued rent revenue. Okay. The next item is prepaid expense. Okay, prepaid expense is an asset because you have overpaid your obligation. The business has to pay monthly insurance expense of 500 ringgit per month. For year ended 2018, the amount paid is 7,000 for insurance. Okay, so 500 per month times with 12 months. For one year, you should only have paid, you should only have to pay 6,000 ringgit. But since you paid 7000 so you have overpaid it by 1000 so kita record dulu pembayaran 7000 tu sebab duit dah keluar kan so you put their debit cash 7000 credit kan insurance kita 7000 okey tapi ni salah ni issue issue only be 6000 so bila kita nak record okey kita tahu prepaid amount kita adalah 1000 ringgit the amount that we have overpaid so prepaid expense is an asset. So buka akaun prepaid insurance expense, debit insurance, credit insurance expense. So your profit or loss amount transferred to be transferred to the trial balance is six thousand ringgit. Okay, you adjust back the, uh, the the expenses according to what you should have or what you should have paid, not what you have uh, paid. Yeah. Uh, and then the next item is the prepaid revenue. The business has rented out an extra floor to a tenant, but this month, uh, this month the business has received this time the business has received thirteen thousand of rent revenue on cash basis. So previous example, you have received less than what you should have received. Can our three more business ticket the pedapa spatunya wa dapat. Tapi untuk example ini pula, awak lebih, awak terima lebih banyak daripada apa yang sepatutnya awak dapat. So, it becomes a liability. Okay, so bila awak recordkan uh, pembayaran uh, penerimaan duit tu, awak debitkan cash, creditkan rent revenue. Okay, but then we need to adjust it, adjustkan dia. So, kita ada prepaid amount of 1000, prepaid amount is a liability. So, credit rent revenue, debitkan prepaid. Jadi awak akan bagi awak hantar ke profit or loss adalah RM12,000. Right. So that's the end of accruals and prepayment. So for the next video, we're going to do depreciation and, and what are the treatment and the, what are the double entries for the depreciation.